All right, boys. So today we are here on the Regulation F cart ladder, pulling up with our Chi Yu Sai Spam team. As you guys can see in front of you here, we have a pretty standard Scootizzy core. This is our Whimsicott with Tail with Fluttermine and Chi Yu. You know, my absolute favorite core in the game. Just basically pay a whip past the Flutterfish. You know, your boy loves it. We've got the Raging Bolt there as well. Just another fantastic Paradox one to pair with, you know, the, uh, the old uh, Chi Yu there. And then, of course, we've added the new Psy Spam mode here, being Indeedee Plus Iron Crown. Now, Indeedee is a Pokemon I personally love on a lot of these, you know, Tailwind teams, simply because Indeedee gives you Redirection Plus Rocky Helmet, which can help out with a lot of matchups, um, especially when paired with Terra Fairy Fluttermane. There are a lot of situations where Follow Me Plus, you know, just spamming Dazzling Gleam is really damn good. And then, of course, we have Iron Crown, the newest, you know, Paradox one that is uh, part of the old Psy Spam core here. As you can see, we are rocking Terra Drag with the Booster Energy. This is for Booster Special Attack. We've got the E-Force and the Tachyon Cutter. It's signature move paired up with Terra Ground Terra Blast just to help us hit some of those Steel and Fire types. Now, boys, this is the team here. Let me know what you think of it down below. And of course, guys, if you also didn't see it, I did release five rental codes, you know, a couple of days ago. So go check that out too if you want to see all the rental codes we released uh, for day one of Regulation F. Uh, but yeah, boys, without further ado, let's jump into the battles. Okay, so game one here, we have an opposing side spam team. Unfortunately, though, they do have a couple of answers here to our Chi Yu, uh, which is normally our best answer into the old side spam. So, how do we want to do this? Um, obviously, I do think that maybe actually, maybe Chi Yu plus Indeedee is even fine here, right? Heat Wave turn one doesn't seem too bad, and I can cycle out. Even going my own expanding force here is actually probably the best play. Yeah, I think that's probably my best play. Just say, hey, like we can trade here. Um, then how do I want to close this out? Probably Flutter Main, right? Nah, I think Raging Bolt probably defensively might be the way to go here. Especially true if I do get into a situation where I need something to tank on the uh the eruptions. I think both of the uh those paradox ones were probably fine there. We're very curious to see how my opponent wants to lead this. Obviously, they could go their like their full side spam mode here with like Indeedee, Forkol, and um, well, side spam Sunroom, I should say, uh, Amaru's of course. But I do think my Chiyu kind of deters them from going down that route. So I'm very curious to see how they actually want to play this. I think their lead here is going to be very, very important. Uh, and what they lead with they went with okay so this was kind of the lead i was expecting here um and this is absolutely fine right um do i ever want to go terra grass here that's the main question right do i want to go terra grass i don't think i need terra for anything else this game terra ground's not needed i think we go terra grass follow me here and then we go just for our big expending force this could be like a terra steel or something on the bird which would be very annoying obviously um but we can also obviously deal with that um and the ogre born here too could be kind of annoying but i'm assuming its speed stat would probably be a little lower than mine uh, but who knows maybe they're running jolly with a bit of speed on this set definitely curious to see how they want to play this though because hitting into the helmet could be a problem for them I just realized though, actually, I think I needed Fluttermane because of this lead. Because now the issue is if they get rid of Indeedee, I've got nothing to outspeed them here. Indeedee going Terra though is very important though. Because that means neither of them on Terra, which means they're probably just going to give me the bird. And now we just need to pray to God that this wasn't a brave bird. Okay, and he went to tech. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Also, that just shows he's not Choice Scarf actually. Oh, okay, and we're also faster than the Ogre Pond. That is very, very important to note. Okay, which means my... I think in this matchup, then... Uh, oh, that's a lot of damage. Have you cudgel, we eat that. All right, so the good news here is that my, uh, my Chi Yu in the back is just free now, I think. Let me just go for another big expending force. I can't believe how well that thing tanked that, though, man. Holy crap. That's a lot of damage. I'm assuming we see some kind of switch here, but they don't really have a great switch in. Probably their armor which is like best case scenario, but even that still doesn't feel pretty this game. Hmm, I think I'm gonna regret not going helping hand that turn, aren't I? You go spike is short, okay. We get to see who moves first here as well, which is actually very important, I think. Okay, he goes Brave Bird, so that will pick up. 
Um, if he was sashed as well, then he just goes down here. Uh, the good news, though, is that does really get rid of uh, anything my opponent had to potentially deal with my fish. Because we know we're faster than the Ogre Pawn, which means that, yeah, Tachyon Cutter, boy, uh, he will just be able to rip through with Expanding Force. And, of course, I can use Life Orb, too. So that's perfect. Expanding Force comes out. And that will be another very big KO for us. Hmm, now the question is, do I want to go Chiyu or should I save it? Part of me feels like saving it here is actually a good play. Going Raging Bolt here. Because if they go Flutter Mane, it makes it a bit safer for us, right? Okay, and they go their own Indeedy here. Perfect. They also haven't Terrage yet, but I think we're pretty good to just go T-Bolt here as we just go Expanding Force. Goes to follow me. That's perfect. E4 should come out first here. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Did I crit that? Yeah. I, I had, oh no, I crit the... What? Maybe I read the names wrong. Did that crit it? I feel like that had to have crit in DD, right? The name looked different though. Big long neck. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in a good spot here, boys. Big Tachyon Cutter Boy, just clicking buttons now. And it is the big talk, and this is absolutely okay. Torkoal can't really do much here. Yeah, I think this was GG regardless. Chiyu here was also super duper free. And now we can just go T-Bolt, and we can go Expanding Force for the win. Yep, GG. I am crowd, dude. It's, it's strong, man. I am crowd is really freaking strong. Okay, so we have a little bit of rain here. Okay, okay. This one looks fun. Um, so off the rip, the Flutterfish lead actually looks pretty damn solid. Uh, the biggest question, even Raging Bolt also looks really nice here, actually. I think we're gonna go the rain variant here. Oh, sorry, not the rain variant. We'll just go the normal, the normal setup here. Because are we, are we sunny day on you? Again, if it was sunny day on this set, no, we're not wrong for. I remember that now. All right, this one's going to be interesting. Um, obviously, really, if we can get through that Landorus, this feels really good for Raging Bolt. Um, we're also probably going to need to, at some point, chip the, uh, the Duraludon. The Basque Legion also is a massive, massive threat to the team here, which is not going to be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious to see how this one goes. Is everyone's apparently getting online tonight, eh? Um, okay, because I'm assuming that they have to bring Pelipper. If they don't bring Pelipper, half their strategy just fails here, right? You need Pelipper. Um, preferably, we don't see Insin. I'd like to not see the Amoongus either. Uh, but we are obviously safety goggles here, so that is, you know, not too bad. We are safety goggles plus a grass nut. So we can try our best to kind of pivot around that. Um, but we'll see how they go here. Even a Amoongus lead wouldn't be too, too bad for us here. It all just comes down to how they want to lead this, honestly. And it is going to be Pelipop plus Archaladon. Perfect, 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 perfect. So what we can actually do here, right? This is a, a really cool play that I really enjoy. Um, and this is the old, I Moonblast you as I Fake Fears you, right? And then depending on what Pelipper does, we can potentially just straight up Encore at this turn. Um, you know, potentially if we need to, we can set up our Entailment, of course. Um, so the, the turn after. But yeah, we'll see how this goes here. Because this is a really, really nice spot here for our, um, our Whimsicott, I think. And also, too, I don't think we're really that scared of Archaladon um, here on turn one. Like, he can't get the Tailwind up before we can get off this Moonblast here. Part of me thinks I actually needed to Terra Fairy. I forget my calc all of a sudden. I feel like that had to be a Terra Fairy from me. Oh, well, we're about to find out, I guess. <laughs> Just making things interesting, let's. Oh, and he goes wide guard. Perfect, 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 perfect. So if this does pick up, we can lock it into wide guard and just start gunning down that right slot. Predicted the dazzling gleam there. Definitely not the you know the worst play for me if I went for it, but and we're just gonna pick up just like that. Choice specs flutter main boys.
Go on, show me like something that just straight up loses to this as well. And it is going to be the Incinerochi. Okay, so this one's actually fine. So the good thing about um, Incineroar here is it actually doesn't threaten a kill on either of my mons now. Uh, we can just go Moonblast here and then we can just go Encore. Just lock the uh, the Pelly into the old Wide Guard here and then just start spamming out these Specs Moonblasts. Um, I could have also gone for a Terra again there, but I don't think I need to. Um, the only reason I'd have to Terra is if he goes for something like a uh, knockoff this turn into my Fluttermane. Um, otherwise, two of these uh, Moonblasts should be enough to uh, pick it up, I do think. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He gets his berry up. That's fine. Ooh, are you... That might just be out of Moonblast range, but it's not out of the range of double Moonblast. Teleport gets up another wide guard. Very good play. Very good play. And we see the Blitz coming out in the rain. This should be absolutely fine. We should live that very comfortably. Oh, and that recoil actually too will put us in a position now where we're... Um, I think we're pretty safe to just go double Moonblast here. Because uh, even if, like, Pelipper's Sash, for example, as long as the first Moonblast picks up, the second one, and they've just quit. GG. Yeah, that one's rough for them. I think their turn one, like, I get the play, because I think if I went, like, Terra Fairy Gleam plus, um, lucky, like, going for the, the fake tears as well, I would have, like, obviously did a lot, like, a lot of damage to Pelipper, and also dropped them down to their, uh, you know, probably dropped the Duraludon there too, or Archaludon, sorry. I'll be able to GG to my opponent, unfortunate. Uh, just, yeah, I played that one really well, I think. Okay, so... We have a Power Knight team here. Um, to me, honestly, this team just screams Fluttermane plus indeed lead here. Um, I may also bring my Tailwind plus. Yeah, I think this is the play here. Because E-Force in the back looks super duper sick, especially if I can get through the um the Incineral here. Uh and yeah, the rest of the boys just look really damn solid. I do think I may need to save Terra, though, for Homie in the back, because I may have to go for a Terra Ground uh, to help me clean up the Incineral here. But we shall see, we shall see. Definitely curious to see how he's going to do this here with these leads. Because obviously Ice Spinner would definitely threaten out our Fluttermane here. Uh, sorry, our... Yeah, I mean, it would look, it would kill our terrain. Uh, but Follow Me plus Helmet would break any potential Sashes as well. Um, something like super annoying, I guess, would be like Amoongus plus one. Because um, we didn't really bring that great of answers here to his, uh, to his Shroom. So maybe we needed Bolt in the back just, for, just in case. But we'll see how this goes here anyway. This all comes down to whether or not they actually just lead the Shroom. And they go Lando and Moongus. Okay, so that's not fun. Um, that's not fun at all. But the good news here is we do actually have Terra Grass plus a Redirection. Uh, how do I want to do this? So we can go Follow Me. If they go Sludge Bomb, though, obviously that puts us in a pretty bad spot. I think we're going to go Icy Wind here and we're going to go Terra Grass Follow Me. Basically, this should... Uh, this will just basically mean even if they do kill with like, um, you know, like say, for example, Sludge Bomb plus, you know, Pollen Puff or something here, um, it does at least put us in a position where... Uh, we can at least, you know, get in our expanding force mod in the back and then just start outspeeding everything we need to. Okay, and he protects the landers. Okay, that's good. So that's really good, which means he's probably just going for the um the spore here on the flutter main. And we'll just pull the spore right into our uh, Ndidi, which is fantastic for us. Icy Wind comes out. They should also do good chip to the Amoongus here, just because we're choice specs. Like, I'm guessing it'll do good 40%. Maybe like 35 there. Get the speed drop. That's absolutely fine. They go to the spore. They can't get the spore off. And now this puts us in a position too where Icy Wind is pretty free once again. Um, and I think for our opponent right now, the obvious play is just sludge bombing our Indeedy here. Uh, because of that, we're just going to go the helping hand here. Because I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Terra come out right now. But at that point, Fluttermane's done its job. We get the expanding force. We can cycle around. Get our um, you know, get our stuff up, and we, yeah, be in a pretty good spot, I think. Because this is going to be Terra Poison coming out, I'm guessing right now. Yep, there's the Terra Poison. So this chip should still do a lot of chip. It, it should definitely put it to. Oh, so as long as it hits, we need, we really need this to hit. Otherwise, our game plan is just uh, completely changed. <laughs> yeah, this should hopefully do a good 50% uh, with the helping hands here. Regardless, it doesn't matter how much it does, as long as it gets chip. Although, in saying that, can get Shroom would have been really, really nice there. We get the speed drop, though. That's the most important thing here. He can take the Ndidi kill here, and he can, you know... Uh... Oh, did he go for the Ndidi is the question. 
Yeah, okay, he has perfect. He's gonna put me to sleep, but again, we're in expanding force uh, range now, which is really nice. We have we still have three turns left as well to click buttons, so we can get our whimsicott in here, um, put it like, obviously next to our uh, our crown, and then just start going to work. Part of me wonders if just going Shadow Balls was the best play there. But it's fun. We have what we want now. We got Iron Crown on the board. Click an Expanding Force. Booster Energy Special Attack is coming up here. And this is about to be a lot of freaking damage, boys. Yeah, I mean, they could obviously switch their Incineroar in here, which would be very problematic for us. Um, but we will deal with that when the time comes. Yeah, maybe letting Fluttermane sleep there actually wasn't the best thing for us. I don't really know what else we could have done there, though. Maybe our Psy Spam lead was just the play. Mm, I'm kind of worried now. If Incin's in the back, I think this game's going to be incredibly hard. It's going to come down to Design Crown actually have the damage to uh, get rid of it. I guess we'll see here if our opponent sacks or if they cycle out. Okay, and they're going to withdraw the Landorus. I'm guessing this is Incineroar coming in. Okay, it's the Fluttermane. There's going to be a really good chip here for us. The best part about this turn... Okay, and they are going to withdraw, which means I'm guessing this is going to be their... Their uh, Incin. Yeah, okay. Hmm... Does Iron Crown have enough to live this is the big question now. We just need Crown to live one. That's the most important thing here. Crown lives one. Fluttermane also didn't show off um, a, what's it called there? A booster energy too, which does make me think it is probably a choice spec set, which means with Tailwind here, we're absolutely fine. The answer to our Incineroar is going to be waking up after our one turn of sleep, I think. Mm, now, I, now I'm heavily regretting switching in there. I feel like I needed to burn a sleep turn. Yeah, I think burning a sleep turn was my best, uh, best play there. I took the risk that they didn't have the Incineroar. That's a risk that has not panned out for us, I don't think. I want to attack the Whimsicott for me. Attack the oh, okay, he's on knockoff. We live that pretty... Not pretty easily, but we live it. So, what does our play have to be now? They're probably going to bring in Landorus, right? Oh, they actually go the Amoongus here. I think what we have to do now is just go Moonblast and protect here. Yeah, this Incineroar is going to be very difficult to break through now. Yeah, uh, I'm really regretting this now. I think just going Shadow Balls into the Amoongus was the best play from turn one. Just Shadow Ball it twice and I think I would have been fine. Oh yeah, actually, okay, so he protects the Amoongus too. Hopefully this is an attack into the Iron Crown here. That's just not enough damage, is it? Okay, and he goes the Flare Blitz though, actually. Which is pretty decent for us here. So... Now this all comes down to does Fluttermane wake up, right? Because Fluttermane at this point is in a position where Dazzling Gleam probably wins me the game, right? Oh, actually, does it win me the game? The issue is going to be that Terra Poison in the back. I think we have to go this, and then we just go E-Force here. We're just going to pray to God somehow our, our um, Iron Crown lives through this turn. If he goes Blitz into Fluttermane, perfect. If he switches out a Moongus here, and like, I don't know, maybe he goes Knock Off again, and we live the Knock. That would also be really, really big for us. It just sucks too, because that would have been such a good turn to attack with. Okay, this is actually potentially good. If he doesn't take out our, our right slot here, we're actually in with a shot now, I think. 
Because we could always switch it up. We could switch it up into Shadow Ball. Mm. Benny Force comes out. The question is, do we live this roll here from the knockoff if he goes for it? Because knockoff definitely at that damage it did with um, two shot here, but it could have been a high roll into a low roll for us. He goes Blitz. Okay, Blitz definitely a smart play by our opponent. Uh, I guess this all comes down to does Fluttermane actually wake up here? And I think I'm going to lock into Shadow Ball as well and pray to God that Flare Blitz damage um, is what gets me through this game. Oh, come on. Wake up, Fluttermane. Wake up. Goes the Rage Powder. Okay, this is like not great. I kind of wish I went Dazzling Gleam now if I wake up here. Ah, we stayed asleep. Yeah, I think I made a mistake not trying to um not trying to wake up earlier. I think that turn I switched out was probably my my big choke. Yeah, and going the knockoff too was also really good by my opponent there. I don't know, maybe there's a world here where Dazzling Gleam crit picks up and then puts us in a good spot. And he just goes Rage Powder. If we can Gleam crit, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. Yeah, we stayed asleep again. Yeah, what can you do, boys? Sometimes, you know, your flood main sleeps all game. Yeah, GG, GG. They played that really well. I, I definitely think I misplayed that, and they get the crit. There it is. Yeah, I think my, my best case, like my best plan probably would have been just straight up start Shadow Ball in turn one. I think that's where I probably lost this game, was not just going for a Shadow Ball, um, plus like the redirection there. But oh well, you live and you learn, boys. Uh, unfortunate. We'll, uh, we'll get another one in. All right, so this looks like a team from the regional earlier today. Um, I feel like I saw this team, yeah. So good news is we have quite a few ways to the Reggie Steel. Bad news is that team is definitely very, very annoying to deal with. Um, although in saying that, our Flutterfish on lead does not actually seem too bad. And our E-Force in the back, potentially okay as well. Although I think Raging Bolt here is really nice as well for a lot of their mons. Um, how do I want to do this? So I think I go the, the normal four here. Yeah, I think we go Flutterfish, and then we bring Whims and, and Bolt in the back. The idea here is basically nothing on his team should outspeed my, um, my Flutter main here. Uh, which means if I need to, I can always Icy Wind support just to help out the, uh, you know, obviously our GU here. Um, if not, you know, we just start firing off some really powerful attacks into them. You know, potentially just go Shadow Balls, you know, Dark Balls, and Heat Blades, all that kind of stuff. Incineroar plus Lardy on lead here. Okay, so this is not the worst. So what can we do here? Um, just trying to think, trying to think. So I actually think, unironically speaking, this is our best play. <sighs> Does this kill though? This is so risky here. This is so freaking risky, right? Because I'm, I'm assuming there is a fake out coming into my Chi Yu, um, but I really want to get this Dark Boss off here if I can. It would also be really nice to know the speed tiers of this matchup. Because really, my Chi Yu's not threatened on this board. Like, what's the worst they can do? Knock off, Ice Beam, like, it's, it's whatever, yeah? And Fluttermane, again, the only thing Fluttermane's really scared of if I do this is, like, potentially a fake out this turn, or just going for a straight up Flood Blitz. So, we should hopefully be able to outplay this here, see what our opponent wants to do. Fingers crossed we don't see a Terra Steel come out of that left slot here. Uh, but depending on my opponent's EVs, we might actually pick this up here, with uh, thanks to the Beads of Ruin. So that is what I'm really banking on here, getting rid of this Incineroar, and then kind of just allowing the guys in the back to play through. Okay. Oh, okay, perfect. And we're going to get the Dark Falls off as well. That's massive. Okay, and that's the one-shot I wanted. I was, I was almost certain, as long as they weren't like Assault Vest, that was a one-shot. So that's great to see. Now show me. Okay, and the Lardy's max speed. Okay, that's good to know. Lardy's max speed, but we should just pick up two kills here. Ah, boys, you love to see it. The old Flutterfish combo. That's the old one-two skip to my Lou here, you know? So what do they have in the back? I'm guessing Landorus Incarnate is definitely one of the last two mons they have. Um, and Ogre Pawn as well. That is kind of scary, actually, having Ogre Pawn Water here. Um, and Reggie Steel, actually. That's not as scary as what I was saying before. So, um, our best way through Reggie Steel is obviously our Chiyu. So what I think we're going to go for here is we're going to just say, hey, you're doing your thing. 
Uh, and we're just going to get Raging Bolt on the board right now. Because potentially, if they go Terra Water, it is what it is. We could lose our Fluttermane here turn one. Um, they could also just go Heavy Slam into it this turn and Ivy Cudgel the left. Which is what I'm assuming will happen, hence why I've gone into the Raging Bolt here. Just to be able to take on anything coming out of these three Mons. Uh, as long as they don't start Iron Defense Body Pressing up, we are okay. But we can always lock it into um, a potential, you know, Iron Defenses as well. Uh, as well, Which is very, very nice for us, right? Even Heavy Slam too. If they go for Heavy Slam um, and KO our left slot. Okay, and there is the, the Terra Water as well. Okay. I'm not sure if they KO our Fluttermane anymore. Oh, and they did go Fluttermane. Come on, hold. Oh, we held. Okay, perfect. That's really ballsy going for that play there. Assuming that we're going to switch out. Oh, and we don't KO. No. And the body press into the Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt is sitting very, very pretty now. Um, good news here too is we could actually just kind of go Moonblast into Registeel here as we just Thunderclap left. Because if he follows me, great. Fluttermane kills it. If he protects, then great. We get a, you know, a strong Moonblast lock into the right slot here. Uh, we should be in a pretty decent position here. I don't really think there's any huge outplay our opponent can go for right now. And there it is, the spiky shield. Ooh, that's also kind of crazy too, because we could have even just doubled right there with the um the old thunderclap. And that's a lot of damage. And he does go the heavy slam here. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Because the good news for us too now is we do get our own Tailwind up here, which means we can definitely stall out theirs, and then we can be first here and make sure that our, uh, our Chiyu in the back gets the fire off its, uh, its strong guard pulses here. Oh wait, no, our opponent just went for Spiky Shield. This is fine. You're just getting encored into that Spiky Shield, sir. Yeah, this, this is absolutely fine. This doesn't matter. Just keep clapping. Ah, oh, boys, you gotta love a late game whimsicott. Come on. Oh, he actually went the spiky shield again. <laughs> That's fine. You keep clapping, baby. Must do an Encore. If he, and the thing too is, if he doesn't attack you, yeah, so this is fine, right? Your, your left slot's now locked into Encore. I'm just going to Thunderbolt you next turn and kill you. Yeah, you've lost your Tailwind. You're not faster than me. Chiyu can come in for free now too. Honestly, I don't even have to bring Chiyu in here. I can just go Moonblast here. I can just go T-Bolt. This is fine. Like, Reggie's still thick, but he ain't, you know, he ain't Raging Bolt thick, you know what I mean? <sighs> okay, th this is the kind of stuff that does grab my gears. <laughs> like, this game is done. I get homeboy, you know, he's trying to live, he's trying to find his outs here. I don't think there's any outs this game. He's got absolutely no way to go through this Raging Bolt right now. Like that's that's you know that's a bit of HP. Don't get me wrong. That's that's you know a bit of HP, but this is also quite a bit of HP. You know what I mean? Come on, Bolt. Show him that big T Bolt, baby. Ogre Pawn is gonna keep clicking Spiky Shield. And goodbye, Reggie Steel. Now, our opponent can never attack, uh, and we just go Dark Pulse, Thunderclap, and that will be GG. That'll be the end of this. We go Dark Pulse, we go Thunderclap. Oh, that's T Bolt. Lol. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. He can't kill both mons here. I'm pretty sure he's still clapping. Battle is cancelled. Look, GG to my opponent. You know, Flutterfish does what Flutterfish does, man, on turn one there. 
Um, really interesting though to see that Lottie being like max speed or at least you know speed creeping in the base 100. Um, honestly, not too bad though. I, I guess making sure you add speed lander is um incarnate is probably uh probably something pretty decent, honestly. Uh, but look, anyway, GG to my opponent and GG to everyone here today. You know, I think we got to you know show off the team pretty well here. Um, you know, obviously you got to use all the monsters, so you can't can't really complain about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.